Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is going to be powered by the Exynos 990 and not the Exynos 992. Even saying that statement is rather disappointing. However, in this video, I thought I'd give you 3.1 reasons why I still think you might want to buy the Exynos 990 powered Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's get started. So first off, let me start by giving you three reasons why I think the Samsung Galaxy S20 series completely failed. First reason, difference between Exynos and Snapdragon. The Snapdragon 865 was 20% faster and more power efficient than the Exynos 990, which was obviously inferior. Second reason, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus was the real Samsung Galaxy S20. The S20 Ultra was a complete disaster. It was overpriced. It had horrible autofocus on the 108 megapixel camera and the space zoom was a disaster. Reason number three, we did not get 120Hz at full quad HD plus resolution. However, OnePlus managed to do it and so it's definitely possible. Now, here are three reasons why we thought that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra would fix all of these issues and give us a better phone. Reason number one, we were supposed to get the Exynos 992, which was supposed to be a 5 nanometer processor and it was also supposed to be as powerful as the Snapdragon 865. Forget the 865 Plus. Reason number two, we were supposed to only get a Note 20 Plus and no overpriced underperforming Note 20 Ultra. And reason number three, we were supposed to get LTPO, which would enable 120Hz at full quad HD plus resolution. All of these reasons might still happen or none of them might. However, I'd now like to present 3.1 reasons why I still think you might want to get the Note 20 Ultra even if it's powered by the Exynos 990. Reason number one, UFS 3.1 or Universal Flash Storage 3.1, which is supposed to be three times as fast as UFS 3.0, which is the current storage protocol. Reason number two, LPDDR5X. And I don't have much information about this, but LPDDR5 was launched way back in February of 2019 and it was at least 1.5 times faster than LPDDR4X while also being 30% more power efficient. That's why there's such a big difference between the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8. And reason number three, we're supposed to get laser autofocus on the Note 20 Ultra and that's going to fix the autofocus on the 108 megapixel camera. And reason number 3.1, the matte finish looks cool. I know Apple gave us the matte finish first on Apple iPhone 11 Pro, but at least Samsung can also copy Apple on all of the good things. <clears throat> no charger. Anyway, all of these 3.1 reasons might still convince you to buy the Exynos 990 powered Note 20 Ultra, which will launch towards the end of August and will be priced at a cheaper $1,200 or 80,000 Indian rupees. Let me know in the comments if you are swayed. By the way, completely would not recommend the Note 20, the regular. It has a flat panel, only 60 Hertz and it's overpriced. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.